Hello and welcome to another Budget 10 Legged video. We've got a very special tool inside this really fancy box, which I will show you, which we got kindly sent to us by Hubby Tools. <clears throat> now, the problem with this tool is I knew about this a long time ago, which was the worst thing ever, because I knew it was coming and I wanted it like three weeks before I knew it was coming. Now, before I actually get into it, it's one of them tools you're not gonna use every day, granted, but once you need it, it's worth its weight in gold. Right, let's open it up. Really nice fancy box. And we have nothing in there. The reason why we have nothing in there is because I took it all out, I've been playing with it, and I tried to get it back in the box, but, you know, not as neat as it came. So what I'm gonna show you first is the destructions, what it is, and then we'll actually look at the actual finger scope that it is. So this is what we get. And again, this is what I really, really like about Hobby Tools. They give you full color instructions which, as you know, is very rare these days, but it's really, really well laid out. It's all been hand-drawn. I know the person that draws it, she spends a lot of time drawing it to make it really easy for people. So the first thing we have to do, if you've got Android or Apple phone, you have to download the app, and again, it shows you how to do it. You go into the, uh, the Play Store, you, you download what it says, depending on, you know, Apple or uh, Android. Password is eight zeros, you know, that really is as simple as that. So that's what the first thing you need to do is download the app. Then it shows you what you actually get in the kit. It shows you how to put it together and it does say click because you do hear when you put this uh, clip on the back of the battery pack, you do hear a really, really nice click. Then it shows you how to put the strap on the battery pack. Yes, I did say strap on. <laughs> and then we have the actual finger scope here and where to join it. They also give you a really nice phone holder because obviously, you know, it's an it's a app through your phone so you can see what's going on when you have it connected. It's a magnetic base so you can stick it anywhere in the car and you can have a look what's going on. Work by Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi. And not only that, you've also got a battery pack so if you want, you can actually charge your phone from it as well. So that's what you get in it. Now let's actually look at the piece of kit itself sorted so i've kind of got it all here connected this is our phone holder really nice you know good spring on it magnetic so you can stick it obviously flexible so you can stick it anywhere in the car where you have to work in so you can see your phone you have the connector here so you can actually charge your phone or charge anything with a usb essentially then we have the charger for the unit itself which is then just standard usb charger this usb charger has nothing to do with it that's the one i lost from home i wonder where that went i was playing with this at home and uh, yeah <laughs> and so was my daughter i couldn't get it off her anyway so we have the strap here as you can see that goes around your arm then you, you have like a belt buckle strap here as well if you want this is your battery pack and this is your actual finger scope now they do give you the little mirror which you can see there which when you plug that into the scope actually flicks it back up to a 90 degrees so you can actually put this down a cylinder for example and look back up at the uh, top of the piston or the top of the uh, valves or anything like that you don't have to use it on the end of your finger you can you know use it another way but you'll see why it's really good on the end of your finger in a few minutes so that's really handy we have a control right here for as you can see the light so you can turn the light you know fully on or off depending on how dark the place you're actually looking into and then it actually connects to your finger which is really handy so again depending if you're left or right handed or whichever finger you want it on which again we'll show you in a minute but we'll show you just how good and handy that is now i know when i get into this people are going to say well i'll just buy one of them and connect it to my pc and it's the same thing but it just actually isn't because you're going to be connected to the pc this is strapped onto your arm you're not physically connected to anything you do that on a pc and you move away because you're going to forget you're going to bring your pc and everything with you your pc is going to be on your engine bay it's going to fall and mostly smash on the floor it's going to be a bad day so it just isn't the same so what we're going to do that's actually what you get. Now let's see what the practical things are for this. It's like I said, it's going to be something you're not going to use every day, 
but when you do use it, it's going to be invaluable. For example, one thing that really comes to mind, when I first did an EGR valve on the Mark IV Mondeo, the 2-litre diesel, there is an Allen head bolt underneath, and I could physically feel it, but I couldn't get any mirrors, I couldn't get anything into it. And I couldn't for work out what it was. It felt like a 10 millimeter bolt, and I was having a 10 millimeter span on it, but it wasn't. It was an Allen key. With this, you can see clearly. Yes, and I know what people are going to say. Well, I'll just get my scope that I've got, and I'll just put it here like that, and I can see. But when you put your hand there, as you can clearly see, when my hand goes down, my hand's going to block the scope. So I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing. The beauty thing about this is, as I turn my hand around, as you can see, the camera is still looking where my hand is. So I can feel around for the bolt or the pipe, whatever I'm looking for. My hand doesn't actually get in the way of it. That's the beauty thing about this. So again, you put your scope down there. You can see the bolt in your scope. As soon as you put your hand in there to do something, your hand's blocking it. So that's the really, really good thing about this. So what I want to show you first is I'm just going to show you inside something just so you can see how powerful the light is. Because obviously when I show you it at the back of the engine bay, there's going to be a lot of light there. So you're not going to really see how powerful this is. So let's get somewhere where it's kind of dark and you can't see anything so you can see this bad boy in action. All right, so as you can see, I've got the unit switched on. Let me just bring my phone up here. And you can actually see when I turn it, just look at the detail you can actually see from this camera that's on my blue mat the detail is phenomenal you go up to here you can see all the pits the rust absolutely everything the detail the quality of the camera is just really really good so what we're going to do is i'm going to put all this on my arm so i'm going to strap it on my arm put up my finger get the phone set up and we're going to show you in a oh the other thing is you can actually see we what we can do through the app we can take pictures like that so we can just screenshot the picture we can slide that across and then we can actually take a video so we can take pictures and video through the app so you can look back on your footage in case you miss something or you know anything like that which is really really handy too so let me get all this set up and uh, let's just see how you know I can get really really close to this look at that I mean, it is. if I turn down on this particular case, the, the light, we can get closer because the reflection of it, look at that. Look how close we can get and you can still make out that 100% clear. Let's get this set up and uh, yeah, saw it. What I really wanted to show was kind of inside the sill so you could just see, you know, kind of what the camera was working. But as you can see, we can't really do that. But seems though like this is a customer's vehicle of mine, it's not mine. I think, yeah, we will just. I don't think they'll notice that. Uh, they won't notice, surely. No, I think we're fine. They're not going to know that we did this. At the end of the day, you know, it's not as if I'm filming it. They're not going to know. That's lovely. Now I can show you inside the sill. Work out better than I thought. Now, as you can see, this is the actual rust of the sill. Now again, I'm just showing you how good the quality of the camera is. That's why I'm doing it inside here. So if I was to put my hand in, you can clearly see down into that sill. Look just how clear that picture is. We can see and actually inside that sill is really really good until we come to kind of like here and then you can see where all the rust begins but that will give you an idea of just how good the camera is in really really dark spaces um, you know it is the quality of the camera is brilliant and you can just really see all that rust now look at that rust like I said we can do this where I can record it and I will do that in, a, in the next part of the video I'll actually record this and put it up on the screen I'm just showing you in this particular case what it can actually do in really dark fine spaces now where this camera is now it's completely pitch black if I was to turn the light of the camera off as you can see you can't see anything 
that's how dark it is in here now so when I turn the light of the camera on you can see and look that is the picture quality and that is fantastic now let's get you inside an engine bay where you'll be using this a lot more sorted right okay this is another kind of demonstration what this could be used for as you can see I've got my phone hooked up there and it's following around what I can see and what we're going to do is oh Stephen Stephen what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see where the adjuster is for the handbrake because sometimes the, the, there is holes for them just for the handbrake but there's no adjuster there or sometimes there's a couple of holes or sometimes you just can't see if what is there or isn't there all right here we go here's another kind of little demonstration you can use this for Stephen Stephen turn up play down there we go Stephen so what I've got we're going to adjust some brakes you can just see the hole here where the brake adjuster hole is where my finger is just here but sometimes in some cars there's a couple of them there's maybe one at the top one at the bottom sometimes there's no adjuster behind it sometimes you haven't got any at all so at least with this we can have a quick look inside and we can actually see now if you look at the camera or the phone at the top let's get and there we go there's the adjuster wheel or there's the threads on the adjuster which is really handy to see because if them threads are rusty then you know you're not going to be able to adjust it you come along here and there's the actual adjuster and what we can also do if I just get my hand in here properly or use my other hand because the wheel's in the way we can actually see a bit more into it nice and quick and easy and now there's the adjuster we can see the adjuster wheel there we can see the threads and what we can also do is just have a quick look around to see if we can see anything else that shouldn't be in here or any wet or anything like that before we adjust it and it looks it looks to be good but it's very important to see them threads once you see the threads we can actually see if we've got an issue can we adjust this are the threads rounded or not rounded but are they cross threaded or anything like that and that all looks good for us to actually adjust it so it's another handy thing you can use this for and what you can also do I'm sure, let me get um, my screwdriver. I'm going to do this and try and film all at the same time. Now, what I can actually do, I might have the wrong screwdriver, I think this is a bit too long, but as you can see, we can actually get the screwdriver in at the same time. I do have the wrong screwdriver. But I hope you can see this, you should be able to. Um, we'll just get it. There is the uh, wheel I need to spin. Hopefully this screwdriver is the right size now. You should get the idea. Um, and there we go as you can see I can adjust this just by looking at the screen and I can see which way it's going and all that there we go well, how cool is that we can see the threads sometimes you don't know if you're actually doing it the right way or not if you're going in or out if you count the threads which we could easily do one two three four five threads if we twist that a few times and there's four threads well then we know we're going the wrong way so there we go We'll now try this bad boy in an engine bay. Right, what we're going to do is we'll show a live demonstration of this bad boy. I now need to find the crankshaft sensor and the crankshaft sensor and these are buried and uh, very difficult to find. But what we can do with this tool is we can actually get it. We will put our foam magnet here. We can even put it there. Uh, no, maybe here. And then what I'm going to do is remove the air filter. Now, we're down here and I can't show you on camera but I've able to show you through our finger scope exactly where it is so let me get this on turn it on put this on my arm sorry but right, just to let you know I'm going to be pointing down here that's the camera this is on the uh, gearbox side of the engine where the water pipes go and the oil separator for the water the thermostat and everything down there but I'm going to zoom you into the phone and then you're going to be able to see what I can see so let's see what we can see and
there it is just see it there now in the middle of the screen if you see this part of the screen oh let me just get to there you just see the bolt there there's one bolt and as I move along there's the actual crankshaft sensor itself right in the middle you just see it there as I move along we have the other bolt look at that so that is our crankshaft sensor the other good thing about it we can see how good the bolts are they look good they don't look like they've been moved before or like um, rounded or anything we keep coming along there's the other bolt and we just pull out a little bit we can see the wire in there see where my finger is there's the clip to see where my finger is there you can actually see the clip hopefully you can see this on my phone but there we go there's the clip so I can now see really nice and clearly exactly where that crankshaft sensor is that's fantastic we know the bolts are okay we know we can actually see the wiring so we know we can just see the clip there let's get back there we go there's the clip look right in the middle so we can see the clip hasn't been really disturbed doesn't look broken or anything like that we can see the two bolts and there we go hopefully you saw that on my actual um, screen but that's how easy it is the old let's see ourselves recording ourselves oh look at that what do they call that like a paradox Ooh. so there we go people that's it that's a practical demonstration now i know what i'm actually going to do is with one finger what this actually allows me to do once we get it again there oh there we go look i'm really close now now look at that that is the sensor there there is the wiring block and the two wires coming off we can even see the color of the two wires now you should really be able to see that now that is a really good close-up we move along that bar there's one bolt we can see that bolt hasn't been touched which is really good and there we go so that was really really good but what i like about it is i can then come in here on it let's get close to the sensor again oh there's the other bolt there and i can actually get my other hand in so i now know i am on the sensor here and i can feel it and see it and do whatever i need to do with it absolutely brilliant so for them things you cannot see let's just go inside here look at that oh what is that Well, I know what that is. It's one of them um, dandy uh, dandelion things. Look at that. You see it in the middle of the screen there. There we go. And that's pitch black in there, people. Absolutely pitch black. It's one of them dandelion things. Yeah. So there we go. You can even see a dandelion inside your head not sure what happened to end this video as you can see i've still got the plague but i'm a man i don't talk about it. it's no big deal it's only the plague i'll shake it off so there we go you can see the finger scope in action it's one of them tools that um once you need it like i said it's worth its weight in gold i'll make sure all the links are down below to where you can contact hubby tools you can find out where your nearest dealer is they'll tell you the price they'll tell you absolutely everything and uh, as always don't forget please like share comment and subscribe most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty links up here links down below check out my facebook patreon and all that everybody sorted